Hello friends, in this video we will synthesize 1,4-dibromobutane from tetrahydrofuran. The synthesis was adapted from Vogel's textbook of practical organic chemistry. For this synthesis you will need 125 grams of 48% azeotropic hydrobromic acid, 37.5 grams of concentrated 98% sulfuric acid, and 9.05 grams of tetrahydrofuran. I have taken half the stoichiometric amounts mentioned in the Vogels. You will also need a 500 ml round bottom flask with a reflex condenser on top and a heating source. I am using a 3 neck round bottom flask, dimroth condenser and a heating mantle. Start by placing a funnel through one of the side necks of the round bottom flask and then charge the hydrobromic acid to it. Hydrobromic acid could be conveniently made by the reaction of sodium or potassium bromide with concentrated 98% sulfuric acid. Next, charge 98% sulfuric acid slowly in small portions at a time. This would prevent excessive heat generation in the flask. You can see how the reaction takes place in the funnel itself because I use the same funnel for the addition of hydrobromic acid here. Once the sulfuric acid is added, Allow the flask to sit for some time so that the contents of the flask get cooled down to room temperature. We need the flask to cool down before the next step of addition of the tetrahydrofuran as the tetrahydrofuran has very low boiling point. Once the THF is also added, slowly heat the flask and then reflex the contents of the flask for approximately 5 hours. Ok, let's quickly see the reaction here. The ring structure of the molecule is broken up to form a straight chain molecule. This can be called a ring opening reaction and it takes place with sulfuric acid and excess of hydrobromic acid. After 5 hours of reflex, it was stopped and contents of the flask was allowed to cool down to room temperature. You can already see the layers here getting separated. Next, the contents of the flask was transferred to a separate refunnel. The bulky dibromobutane layer collects at the bottom and the aqueous layer on top. The lower dibromobutane was then collected. The clip is not shown here, but the organic layer was transferred to a separate refunnel and washed successively with approximately 30 ml of water, 30 ml of 5% sodium bicarbonate solution and another 30 ml of water. Then the organic layer was set up for distillation. A short path distillation is the perfect choice here as the boiling point of 1,4-dibromobutane is 197 degrees C. Since I do not have a short path distillation setup, I am going with the regular simple distillation using the Friedrichs condenser. Initially some water distilled over, when more intense heat was applied with the heat gun, the temperature quickly raised to 197 degrees C and 1,4-dibromobutane was distilled. The distillate was a little bit cloudy, so I added some sodium sulfide and hydrous powder and this immediately cleared the solution. The final volume that I collected was approximately 14 milliliters, which is around 25.2 grams. This represents a 93% yield, which is much higher than the yield which is recorded in Vogel's textbook, which is only 74%. This might be probably because the time taken for reflex in Vogels is only 3 hours and I had reflexed the solution for about 5 hours which means a 2 hours extra was done by me. Maybe that is the reason for like increasing the yield but maybe there might be other reasons also like impurities or anything. I'm not sure about that but anyway I'm gonna end this video now. Hope you have all enjoyed the video. These are all my Patreon supporters who are financially helping me so that I am able to purchase new equipments and chemicals required for doing new videos. You can also support me via Patreon or PayPal, the links of both of them are in the description. Once again, thank you for watching, do subscribe to the channel and click on the bell button for notifications regarding my future videos. Thank you.